fastened for the stomping ground powered by one hydrate live on the zone i'm in absolute youtube interview dreamland here frank warren and eddie hearn together you've done quite a lot together today so it's almost probably too much yeah i'll be honest with you the last thing we want to do is you <laughs> right now <laughs> we've yeah. got round to i mean we, yeah. we had that list it we've gone gone down and now we've got to your in, in importance yeah <laughs> Hey, have we got any more after this? No, I'm not going to see the caretaker, are we? <laughs> <laughs> um, who would have thought, even a year ago, that we'd be standing in this position now? Um, I suppose we keep using the word amicable, but it is very amicable. I don't quite want to say you guys get along, but like you said to me, when you spend a lot of time around people, you realise they're not as bad as you actually first think. Yeah, well, I mean, look, it's not, I don't think it's even as bad as you think. I mean, what, there's, con, there's con, misconceptions, conceptions that you have, there's... You guys are the, were most of the problem. With, yeah, with the you know with the clickbait stuff, and that's the truth for the matter, you know. And sometimes you know you tongue in cheek and you respond to it. And a couple of times, you know, I'll be honest, I'll be hands up. Sometimes you take things a little bit, you know. What's, what's all that about? I mean, but living in the moment that we are now, we're doing great things together. We're making it work. It's a great and I said this. God knows how many we both said it. God knows how many times they've through. His Excellence, his vision, and getting us together—it's—it's it's something where we should be really somebody should whack our heads together, because all the good things that are coming out of it now, especially on the, the shows that we've been working together on over the last few months, and especially what's happening on June the first with a five B five—it's brilliant. It's a brilliant concept. It's gonna—it will work. You know, we both got our views on who will win. What's more important out of this as well is that what's going to come afterwards, because I think this is going to be a regular occurrence. When I spoke to His Excellency yesterday, he said that he was so struck by just how many eyeballs it was just on the two of you guys coming together, and that was a massive thing for him. And obviously now we hear that there could be future intent with shows in the UK, maybe smaller scale five u fives, maybe even bigger ones than this. Who knows? That's the intent going forward to just keep cooperating on this level and. If it's creating this sort of attention with the promo, which we'll talk about, you stick at it? Yeah, it, the concept works. You know, obviously you've got the rivalry and the history between Matcham and Queensbury, but it's just pure 50-50 fights that we're passionate about and we all we both believe in. And they can be across so many different levels. I mean, look, on, July, on June 1st, you've got World Championship fights, right? The same applies to an English title eliminator. If it's a 50-50 matchup, people want to see it. So... You know, we're in Riyadh, we'll be in Wembley, we could be at your court. It doesn't matter. It's the same concept. It's, it's great, great matchups. Just moving forward then, uh, I suppose you said that Frank Smith's a bit of a favourite in the office now. I know we asked Frank earlier, who, who's the favourite out of the Queensbury lot in your office, Eddie? Um, I've told you, it's a cleaning lady. Yeah, <laughs> no. I don't know. Um, we, get on, we get on really well. I don't forget, you know, we've got actually a couple of sort of switches over the years. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Barnard, our head of media, used to work for Queensbury. Matt Rich, their head of media, used to work for Metro. So, you know, we're, this is small business, you know. And to, to be honest with you, one of the, the things that works so well is normally there's a lot of pitchiness in a business. You know, I've not heard one month about Queensbury or, oh, this hasn't been done or the travel, oh, the, this person's not getting back to us, you know. Whereas you could think because of the rivalry over the years, just because we're getting on, doesn't mean that everybody else is, but they're they're quite a similar team of people, young team as well, yeah. on both on both sides yeah, as well. That's a fact of life, and you know, I think they're all getting a buzz out of it, mm. yeah, as well. And obviously, you know, there's that they are loyal to their respective companies, and like Queensbury want to win. It's not just me; mm. it's Queensbury want to win. And it's the same with, with with Eddie's team; they want to win. So there's a lot a lot of um, there is a lot of competitive, and there's a lot of respect now. And I think there was a grudging respect maybe in the past, but now I think it's gen you know, it is genuinely we respect I think us we certainly respect what, what's going what's happening with the other side, you know, with, with, with Matram. And Eddie's doing a doing a really good job with his guys. We're doing a great job with ours. And it's all gonna culminate. You did say though good 
for me and great for you. I hadn't noticed that, you know. It's, 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 oh, you started already? It's like, it's like, oh, it was like, oh, it was like, it was like, it was like, <laughs> it was like a pat on the back and one in the back, you know, it was like, you know, Eddie's doing a really good job. We're doing a great job, you know. I said, I pick oh, yeah. these little nuances up, you know. I don't think I've seen a lot of these. Still, you're still a little. <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, no, so, I'm sorry about that. Actually, he's doing a great job. Oh, and, our, and, our, and our team actually doing a magnificent <laughs> Um, you mentioned just a minute ago that it's almost been a bit of a kick up the backside in, in terms of this Saudi vision in working together. I just got a message off someone in AJ's team who, who sort of said, look, imagine if these guys came in 10 years ago mm. uh, and it just makes you think if the future's so positive, it's almost like, OK, lost opportunity and you can't make up for that. But it's just incredible what we're seeing now. Well, it is. But you also got to remember, we've got, we've got to also work for our respective TV companies. What we're doing, you know, with TNT and obviously you've got the zone with, with Eddie. And that ourselves makes us competitive, and we have to serve those two respective TV companies. So the, the good thing that's happened as well is that they're actually mm. been working together, which has been good for the fans and making these things happen. But it's, uh, I think we're in a position now where we'd be fools if we ruin this. We, you know, it's down to us. The only one, who, the only one people who can mess this up is ourselves, and we're not going to. Uh, that's not going to happen with us. And I, and I know it won't happen with it. Nick Ball versus Ray Ford, Hergovic Dubois, Deontay Wilder, Gilles, and can't believe we're seeing you mm. and Deontay Wilder together. Uh, Craig Richards and Willie Hutchinson, and then Amo Williams and Andrew yeah. Shiraz. How's it going, both? Quite well. I, I, I heard that. Quite yeah. Well. Eddie? Same. I mean, I, honestly, like every matchup's intriguing. Don't forget, that's also underneath Bivol Betibiv. I think the best fight card, yeah. top to bottom. I mean, yeah. when have you seen six fights like that that are pure 50? Yo. Know, at unificat at undisputed level, at world championship level, at elite heavyweight level, twi- you know, world championship eliminator with Shiraz Williams, really good domestic dust up kind of fringe world level. Like it's such a brilliant fight, and I think you know, and a, a, an unbelievable night. Just two weeks, by the way, after Fury, which is another brilliant card. Yeah, two two at four belt championships within the space of two weeks. It's amazing, and and as you're saying that the the, you know, the the cards. If you're a fight fan, you're in. You, you know what more do you want? You've got everything you've ever wanted. It's all happening. We never, Fabulous. We never thought we'd see the two of you together as boxing fans in the UK, and I suppose all over the world for years. All we've ever wanted is Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. We know there's a two fight deal. It almost feels like win, lose, or draw. Regardless of if the two fights play out, uh, AJ and Fury will always be there. Is this the time? All the Commotion. That yeah, of course, it's the time. As long as they keep winning, I believe my man, my man, I believe Tyson on the on the 18th. I, I think he'll be holding the four belts, and 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 I'm sure AJ's going to keep winning. He's hitting some good form at the moment. He's looking. He looked really good in his last two fights. He's looking sharp. As Eddie mentioned earlier, he's punching well. I mean, he got his that was way disposed of. Deganu was 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 he done that in style? Three times the same shot, the same shots three times done it and done a job on him. So it's setting this up, this is this is going to be a mega mega fight when it happens, and I believe it will happen. It's up to us to keep pushing for it to see that it does. Yeah, I mean, obviously you got the two fights. You know, anything could happen. Someone can get injured. Yeah. So you know, someone could retire. I don't know. Unlikely that it's a lot of money for two fights. So we expect to see those two. AJ could fight the winner of Hergovic Dubois. Who knows? Could fight for a world championship, but. I do think win, lose, or draw, we will still see that fight, but it won't be of the same magnitude as if they keep winning. Fury can do the business, and AJ can recapture a world championship. I mean, talking about the biggest fight in the history of boxing. We are content whores, and I feel like you guys have done an awful lot. Very quickly, there was a game of Jenga. Are we able to disclose? You're not happy with this. Well, I'm not in the same. We nearly, we nearly, we nearly fell out over it when I caught him kicking the table. <laughs> You wait till you see the concentration. I mean, it was like, it was just, they brought us in for a bit of social, you know, content. And he was like, just a quick guy, just pull him out. We're like this. You know, he's getting up at one stage, his wires getting in the way. It was like, you know, it was, but that's, you, you were like shaking stuff. Yeah, so that was like, imagine that game of Jenga. Wait till you see June 1st. And that, and that you know, at the end of the day, that's what, what we've got in within us is competitiveness. That's what it is. We want to win. We want our guys to win. That's how it's always been. That's how it's always wanted one over on one over each other, as uh, as competitors in the sport we're in, and that, and as much as we're getting on like house on fire, come the night, that's all we want, you know. That it'll be 
No. They don't want to come out as the winner. I want to come out as the winner. My team want to come out as the winners. And vice versa. It's going to be, it's going to be something special. Frank Eddie, thank you very much. Uh, Frank Warren, tell Eddie not to wear his pyjamas next time, will you? Mm. <laughs> okay, now here's the composition <laughs> winner piping up with me.